Hey guys, Scooby Poo here. Uh, today I will be showing you guys, as you can see by the title, how to make a really very secret face. And yeah, let's get right into it. So you might not have noticed, but this is actually a secret face right here. So if we go over here and flip this secret lever, right there, it opens up. And we can come on inside. And then to shut it, we have to go pick that little tiny lever. So, here's the inside. There's a library, a nice little enchantment, uh, enchantment table. I don't know why I forgot the name. A nice little anvil. Blue and green bed with a nice, like, frame. And then, well, I don't know what to call it, but a nice, like, thing. And then we have, like, the crafting table. And then we can destroy the crafting table. And, yeah. And there's just a little bit of redstone. So, but over here, we have a very, very secret level that leads you into a chest room. And don't forget to close that. But it leads you into a chest room down here, where you can stash all your diamonds and stuff, or stuff that you don't want your friends to get their hands on. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And now, I'll show you guys how to make it. <coughs> well... You can kind of like customize it, but I'll show you how to like do like the redstone and other things. So basically, what it is, is it's just hidden sticky pistons. So, uh, like in here, sticky pistons. It's not really simple, but redstone attached to a little. Over here, same thing, sticky pistons. This time it's a little bit more confusing because there is, it has to go all the way around, so, but I will show you that, I'm just going to get some there. Uh, actually, and then, we will cover this back up, and then, I can cover that up. So those are the sticky pistons, and then there's just the redstone there, redstone there, um, and then there's one down here, and then it just goes basically down here, all the way to the other side, and then it connects to the lever up here. So, so that was a little confusing. Let me just redo that. So. Basically, sticky pistons with stone, and then there is a lever that you can hide in many different ways. I just wanted to hide it this way, or you can, like, you know, hide it this way. But there's just, yeah, you can hide it any way you want. There's just more visibility when you put it like this so they can, like, see inside your base. So I would recommend putting it like that. But, yeah. So it's basically just a lever that activates the pistons. Well, I broke this piece of redstone, so of course it's not going to work, but it's basically just a pist uh, lever that activates the pistons. And, oops. And this. Wait. Well, basically there's just a piston that activates I mean, there's redstone that activates the pistons. So there's redstone that activates the pistons, and then basically you connect it to a lever, and then that's all there is to it. So that's the uh, front door, and if you really wanted to be like that, you could just put like a black carpet or like a marker, like on a simple like, random torch. If you like don't want to like have to remember it. Uh, over there was my sister's video. Make sure to go check her out. Her channel is Diamond Kitty. I know I always say that, but like for people that aren't. She made modern house decorations, so like that, and she teaches you how to make all them. Uh, yeah, so like that, and that it was a cabinet, but she broke it, and she made like a pool table. Yeah, lots of stuff. So. Um, anyways, let's get right back into it. So, 
Yeah, down there's the redstone. And then, you just hide that torch over there. I mean that, sorry, not torch. Uh, you hide that lever over there. And you can put like one, a slab like, you know, right there. And then, put it like that. And then, now for the other thing. This is the pop-up crafting bench. You can use sticky pistons, but I'm, like, just honestly, I'm really bad at using sticky pistons or, like, redstone stuff. So I'm too lazy, so I just use command blocks. So you you want to put them uh, one apart, and then you want to put a block above them and a button, and a block above that one and a button. It doesn't have to go that deep. Um, and then one command, do set block, squiggly, squiggly, one, space, squiggly, crafting table, equals unconditional new, and needs redstone. And that will set it right there. And this one basically does the same thing except that it sets it whatever block you want. So this could be like a pop-up, like, different thing. It doesn't have to be a crafting table. But, yeah. And then since you do set block, squiggly, two, space, squiggly one, space, squiggly, space, planks, impulse, unconditional, you need redstone. Um, the only reason I did it planks, like you can do it and what your floor is, but I just do the planks because that's what my floor is. So then you cover that, 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 that. Uh, yeah, now onto the redstone for this really hidden lever. Um, so basically it's the same thing as the door. There is just okay. This is your so there's just a uh, piston over here, uh, pushing a block. When I flip this, it's much easier to than the uh, door because it's just one block. It's just one piston, so you don't, and it's like close to the lever. So it just pushes that, and then you also have to like hide the piston, or else they'll like be like, hmm, there's a piston. So what I did was I just put slabs above this, above this because like look, if you do this, that, and then you might say well like oh you have carpet over here, why not just put carpet over here? But uh, then if you flip this lever, there's no carpet on that, so it look out of the ordinary. And then when you pull it back, you flip it again, it's not there because it like breaks. So what I did was just put slabs that are the same kind as what you're using for this. And that hides it pretty well, I think, in my opinion. And then there's just this one thing, but they could be like, oh, that's probably to get to the anvil. And then you could like put one over here that's probably to get to that one. And you can even like, do that. Um, but yeah, that is the chest room. That's pretty much all the redstone. I mean, you need to fix that. Put a ladder to just go up. So it's really simple secret base, but it's still pretty hidden. Uh, like my sister couldn't uh, find this um, until I showed her. And yeah, and then here's the chest room. You can like put signs on there and like label them. I'm not gonna run up, but yeah. So that's. Really um, you can put your chest room like in the outside of your secret base, if you, like just out in the open, like if you if you need it, it in really good. But I didn't do that like very much, so I didn't. But yeah, um, you could also like put like other stuff. Like, this is just an example, this isn't, like, it's just, uh, an example, so it's not that good. Like, I could easily see you guys making it, like, much better. Uh, yeah, so, um, also, there's, like, a cabinet thing over here. I showed you it already. Um, you could, like, put this in your secret base. Uh, so you could, like, have this. It's kind of big, but, like... So like you have this and then it looks like a cabinet and you open there and there's a chest. Uh, that, how to make that, well, how to make it is just like, 
here. I'll make it over here. So just get any door you want. I use spruce because there's no like window or whatever. And then you want to get a chest and some blocks. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go over here. Here. So you just break four blocks, put a door. Make sure it like goes all the way up to the edge because if you're like over here and you put it like that, it'll look like kind of weird. So just uh, make sure you go do it from that side, and then you want to put the chest like, oops, like that. And you could even really put two chests if you wanted to. Uh, and then you just cover it. Uh, like you could put this in your food place, like if you need like a kitchen or something to keep it right. You can just do this. Oh, I have to it again. Um, but yeah. You could just do that and then just put some slots above this. And you could even like make it like a double decker. I know I'm using dirt and it looks really bad, but that's just what I had. You make it like a double decker so you could get like the same kind. Just flip these. And then have it like this. So like I said, it is kind of big, but I think it's really cool. Oh, there she is. Yeah, so she had she made a video just like earlier in this world. Uh, no, it's okay. she made a video earlier in this world um, about like modern house decorations. So make sure to go check that out. Why is she using cobblestone? What what are you doing? Anyway, so yeah, she made a video about modern house decorations. Make sure to go check that out. Um, yeah, so she shows you how to make like really cool stuff. Um, and she like showed you how to like dye armor. Like, see your armor right now? It's like it's dyed. Like, uh, it's, like it's a different color. So yeah, you should go check her video out. And yeah, anyways. I think that'll be it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, you can do that. Like, make it bubble. And then just have it like that. But, uh, yeah. I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Make sure to. Or you could do. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Or you could do this. And then. And then people wouldn't be able to like find They would have to open it. Maybe. That one doesn't. You can, instead of putting doors, you can probably put, yeah, you can put, what are you doing? Instead of putting, that's really annoying. Okay, anyways, instead of putting doors, you can put, like, pencil. Here the, okay, anyways. So you could put like a trap door there instead of a door if you wanted to, but I don't know why I used the door. Anyways, yeah, that'll be it for today's video guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and yeah. Uh yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and that'll be it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching.